defensive players that are long and athletic and jump extremely high, fadeaway is not going to get you away further enough. Their length is so great that they can still alter your shot. Now you throw in the pump fake, it really keeps the defender off balance and keeps them guessing, which is exactly what you want to do. The trajectory on the shot changes depending on the defender. You know, I, I like to raise my elbow up a little bit more. I can read if a defender's coming. Now I got to kind of slide back a little bit more and shoot the ball straight up. That shot goes in because you're out there on the court just kind of working on those things. So you got to be able to work on those things, be comfortable in those situations so that you're natural when it happens. I'm always feeling where the defense is first and foremost. So sometimes, you know, it might require me to fade back this way for a shot. If the defender's more on my shooting arm, it requires a different footwork where I'm kind of leaning this way. But I'm always looking at the backboard and looking at where I'm going to be positioning the ball. You know, some guys like watching the flight of the ball. I don't like doing that. I like watching where my target is and focusing on that target. I think kids really have to get comfortable with the backboard by just kind of going underneath the basket, spinning the ball off the glass, trying different shots and be comfortable with right hand or left hand, you know, all those things. Mix up the rhythm of your footwork. That's very important as well. If you're out there just doing the same footwork with the same rhythm, same tempo, defenders get used to that and uh, can kind of sit on your moves. You know, the degrees in which you fade depends on the, the defender that's guarding you. You know, if the defender's on my left side a little bit, I have to change how I fade because now from this angle, if I fade straight back, you can really contest that shot. So a lot of times I'll fade this way. So I create more separation between us. I might even draw a foul on my off arm and be able to knock the basket, still make the shot. So if you're out there practicing and working on your fadeaway, I'd say, you know, work on fading straight back, work on fading to the side, work on finding something in between. And, and you gotta be able to find that rhythm. It takes a lot of effort. There's a lot of legs involved as in anything. 